So, and there we are, right next door. Um, so various slides are going to be different things that we did, um, that we have done um, for ourselves, for, um, we do custom orders. Basically, we have 800 square feet of salvaged things in the basement, basically other things that people um, think are uh, not worth anything. So they're going to be thrown away or they're going to be burned or whatever. And a lot of times they're antique, so they're pretty much quality. Um, so we take them and we give them new life. And a lot of people have uh, memory and historical references to them. So some of these are ours. We also have about 10 other consigners who um, make things out of salvage, repurpose, upcycle, recycle. Um, now we are doing, um, for First Friday Arts Walk, which is tomorrow, we now have some of our consigners coming in to, um, as feature artists, and a lot of them, they've never been artists before. So this is kind of their first experience. So we are helping them to become, kind of go to the next level of, of being artists. I never wanted to be a professional artist. I never wanted to live in Pittsfield. I never wanted to be a teacher. I never wanted to, let's see, what else? Lots of other things, but you know, <laughs> sometimes your path takes you to different places. So now, um, as my therapist said, I now have, have Pittsfield as my classroom. So basically, it's the same sort of thing. I'll have a reference on here um, to uh, Rachel Joy Scott. Most of my references come from being a school teacher and, um, well, of course, Monty Python. Come on, if you're feeling bad, John Cleese, you know, faulty towers, all that. So yes, my unconventional ways don't always mesh with other people, hence I am a, the vandal of Pittsfield because I thought that um, there should be color in, in things in, in Pittsfield. So, oh, and those are my triplets. Um, well, one of my triplets. So we did, we've done classes for the 10 by 10. We had various creative healers come in and do different things out of recycled materials. So now we are trying to get these creative recycling centers, which was basically my classroom, um, back into the schools because I really feel that hands-on um, things are how you find, it's how, creativity is how your soul speaks. So whether it's art, whether it's music, whether it's um, fixing cars, whether it's um, planting things, whether you're cooking, and it, and it could take various things. I was a class of 87 uh, music school graduate, so, but I haven't played in 26 years. So, you know, things kind of take on new lives with things. So we're doing a lot of collaborative things. We've done the expos. Um, did, we've done Brimfield Antique Show. We did the 413 art thing um, at the stationery factory. So we kind of, we don't really fit into any specific place. So that's why we're just anywhere and everywhere. Um, I really believe that creative healing, art therapy, if you will, um, is kind of the answer, as Dr. Seuss says, and he's up here. Um, you know, sometimes the questions are complicated and the answers are simple. So um, public school, they're taking out the hands-on things. Um, so more focus is on testing. So I feel that the more that, okay, you're supposed to answer this question and then you get out of school and then you're in society, if you're not going through life answering those questions, you have no idea who you are, what you are, and what you're supposed to do with your life, hence our society. So basically now um, we are working on things like uh, flash mob in the community. So we have a creative community flash mob. We're having our first rehearsal practice if you want to come at the Christian Center, 1.30 to 3 on Saturday. Basically that is um, to get everything, everybody involved in doing something somewhere. So it's open to all ages, all abilities, and basically we'll want to have things as um, multi-generational and everything as possible to get people involved, whether it's through upcycling, recycling, um, just looking at things in a different way. I have people come into the, into the shop and like, oh yeah, we make these memory benches out of two chairs. And I'm like, what? Two chairs? Oh yeah, that's our coffin bar. What? You know, people just can't say, you know, like I had to explain to these, to Melissa Brinton and others, that these were actually part of 
45 records, records, those black things, there were big holes in the middle. So in order to play them on your record player, you had to put these in to fit. So people don't know these things. So it's really cool that, you know, we can make cool things, have things kind of go from uh, past, present, future, and include all of that. Um, a lot of times I put on, and there's Rachel Scott, who, uh, by the way, she was the first uh, little girl who was killed at Columbine. And um, there is a program that her family created after that. And they go to different schools and they do this entire program that gets ki kids included. Um, uh, it's, it's just an amazing program. I'm trying to get it to Pittsfield. Uh, I was lucky enough to be a part of it a couple times. Um, I'm technologically challenged, so that's why this looks like this. I'm more of a visual thing. So <laughs> So please, by all means, come next door and um, check out some of our things. I didn't bring any show and tell, sorry. Um, so these are some things, that 10 by 10, just doing things with, um, you know, junk, essentially. This was on its last legs. Now it's this fancy schmancy thing. Um, old doors. I think that was actually from Pete White. So lots of people want to give you stuff. I've had people that want to give me things from like kilns to grand pianos. And I would love to take the stuff, but I can't take all the stuff. So we need a space right now to have this stuff go to. And um, basically it would uh, kind of encompass people coming to not only take, give, but also to learn how to, I don't know, make something, fix something. Um, just kind of, if you don't know that you're, if you've never experienced something, you have no idea you're good at. You have no idea that that's your passion. So the biggest thing that we need to do right now is to really like teach society in general how to want to learn, how to want to be a decent human being. And so that's what we're all about, the Funky Phoenix, the Reformation Academy, and now Redefine Flash Mobs. So if you want to see me, come next door. <laughs>